they are a content company. So media is continually becoming more and more rich. So in the caveman days, you just had, you know, hieroglyphics and then obviously spoken language uh, developed and written language developed. Then uh, fast forward to like the 1800s or 1900s, 1800s probably, you had uh, um, uh, the Pony Express so people could wait, you know, days or weeks or months to receive a letter. Um, and then you had uh, the telegraph, then you had the um, uh, telephone, then you had uh, the radio, then you had uh, TV, uh, and then you had the internet, and you had the smartphone. So as you can see, media is getting more and more uh, rich and um, uh, personalized and uh, broad. By, by broad, I mean in terms of reach. Like if you did a hieroglyphics in a cave, only the people that came into your cave could see it. If you did the spoken word, then only the people that were around you could hear it. But you know, then with with the the Pony Express, you could you could send communications across uh, distances, and then with the telegraph, you could do it across longer distances faster. Then with radio, you could do it you know faster and further. Then with TV, you could do it fat. You could do it uh, uh, you know further or with richer media. And then with the internet, you could you could scale on top of that. So. Every media company has to adapt to the new technologies, otherwise it gets lost. So if you take like the major media companies of today, like, you know, Disney and Netflix and the cable companies and the the uh, broadcast companies, if they don't adapt to AR and VR, then they're not going to exist in the future because the mediums always, just like, you know, radio still exists, like podcasts are big. Um, but if you're just like a, a telegraph company today, you're not going to, you know, exist. Um, or you're not going to be very big. Uh, if you're just a radio company, you could be a certain size. But, you know, you also have to have the Internet. You have to have, you know, the modern technologies uh, that have come since then. So, you know, AR and VR are more immersive technologies, especially VR and informational technologies that provide more information and it's going to be commonplace soon you know for people to have like the uh, augmented reality glasses um, Facebook and quite a few other companies are working on those and uh, the content companies are going to have to uh, adjust and uh, expand their content to AR and VR uh, if they're going to survive.